coming up on the first pitch and our pitcher tonight Joe Musgrove and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in Leading scoring position most Sanchez guys Francisco. they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout Mike Yastrzemski leading things off and takes a strike. And now the count is even. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff, or strikeout stuff a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further righty delivers Aye. and that's a strike well oh, this guy is so comfortable oh, hitting with two strikes even a good pitch early in the at bat if he's not ready to pull the trigger he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count and here it comes Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Two out, space is empty. Right through there for a strike. Just inside. off the inside corner. One and two to Cal. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Giants are down one, two, three. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in San Diego and pitching in this game, Kyle Harrison. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Luis Arise stands in, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count one and two. That one missed. The pitch. Out there to center. McCray flashes the leather on the running catch. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, one guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Kyle Higashioka. And boom, he's the table setter for this offense. 
team leader and on base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score. Man, I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, oh, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. Tatis waits. Foul ball there. With Tatis at the plate, we're looking at a player that is never going to be considered boring. He's an electric player that manages to make plays most players wouldn't consider trying. And he plays the game his own way. It's a big reason why he's considered such a fan favorite. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Got him. Got Two him. gone after the strikeout. Batting third. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Donovan Solano. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. One. One's the count. Kicks and fires. That one ball. off the mark. One and one. I got a ball, one strike. And ball. another ball. Two balls, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Right. Swing and a miss. He was late. Two strike two. two strike. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The lefty fires. Right through there, got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nada for the Padres in the opening frame. We'll go to the second in San Diego. No score on the show. And now the veteran third baseman, Matt Chapman. And the right hander back to work. Headed towards the corner. Tatis after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The first baseman, Lamar Wade. So here's Wade now. Just Ball. missed. Ball one, no strike. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Merrill under this one. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. That is it. The right fielder. Two oh, outs, oh, base is empty. Oh, now it's the right fielder. Off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And Ball, that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And the count even one and one. No score here in the second. through that one it's a strikeout Giants down in order we go to the bottom of the second no score The third baseman. When you talk about a lead defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. Now he breaks his back. Wait. The flip to the pitcher covering. Machado out of the play. Got it. The second baseman. Dan Well done.
Here's Xander Bogarts. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, One out, base is empty. Lined, and that's a base hit. That is good. Xander Bogarts with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. That one pulled foul. Left hand batter waits. And that one a little below the knees. And the count is one and two. Hit on the ground might be two. Steps on the bag for one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. here in San Diego and now the switch hitting catcher Patrick Bailey Musgrove back to work Musgrove in his eighth season he features a four seam fastball a curve a cutter a slider and he works in a changeup that's a strike and the count is 0-2 oh, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle end. Kind of has cutter action, and it just punches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. One down, base is empty. That one way inside. Top of the third, no score. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Two down. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now a chance for Grant McCray. Out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw to second is offline. Grant McCray with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Oh. And ball one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Right, 
And he's swinging to miss. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitter has timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Man on second, two down. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Out of here. He hammers one out to center. And it gives them the lead in the third. It's 2-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. There's a strike. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's carrying. And that one hops the wall. And he's got a double. Tyler Fitzgerald with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Elliot Ramos. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat get that first hit at the big league level missed with a changeup ball one man at second swing and a miss nice changeup one and one Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch is outside. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Side and that is ball four. The bat, bat. the third base. Now Matt bat Chapman bat. at the plate, <laughs> fly to right his first time. Look out! Perfect. And it hit him. Oh, that stings right there. He was just one out away from going back now to his seat in the dugout, the but instead. He's going to have to face another test. Hopefully he can forget about the one that got away. Luke, have you forgotten about the one that got away? Wait. In the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Base is loaded. Two down. Here's the 0-2. One ball. In Two the strength. dirt. No movement on the bases. One and two the count. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Ah, oh, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show.
except for the bottom of the third. Now, David Peralta. The left And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. Well, he left that change up. up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Good eye on that spot. Two two in the air right field. That one gets down for a hit. So right aboard to start the inning. David Peralta with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does. It can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Kyle Higashioka. And a strike in there. I got to call one LDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. And there's a foul ball. The Giants up by two here in the last half of the third. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the pitch. That's down and in, a slider missed. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The one, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. of the at bat do next got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner it's his first strikeout at this level but it definitely won't be his last so you know these early at bats are all part of the process for a rookie and trust me big league pitching just looks different than minor league pitching he still has plenty of opportunities ahead of him in this one though And now here is Mason hey. McCoy. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here so the San Diego batting order turns over Luis Arias, the next up for the Padres. Ball oh, one and a pitch inside. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. Oh, 
just Black. missed. Well, tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. That one the other way. Fair ball. Coming home. Here comes the throw, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Runners at the corners here, one away. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 1 so far. Hits the corner, strike one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Ball one there. One and one. Going to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping that up ball. pitches that are just a little too high. Two First more. and third, one down. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Drops into the glove. Now back. First base. And here's the first baseman, Donovan Solano. He's 0 for 1. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. Dances out of the way of that one. Corners are occupied with two down. Bounce to the right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. In the score from third. We are tied at two. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So first and second with two outs. Here's Machado. He's over one. And Manny gets a piece. And he grounds one to the right side. Luciano. The throw to first. They limit the damage here. They get two and draw even again. Three innings complete. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, number 59. to kick the pitch rip but it curls foul well these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game they're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs can they turn it oh this one high and deep way back there and he makes the catch on the track just missed a homer that time 
Now the catcher up to hit, Patrick Bailey. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. One down, base is empty. In there at the knees, and it's not even two. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Riding to the plate. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Going to count one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Line to left, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Now Patrick Bailey with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now Marco Luciano went down on strikes his first time through. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Oh, one. And the righty deals. And one that's down and away. the mark there and the count is two and two great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two such a better feeling for the hitter and the pitch on the ground right side boots it Marco Luciano with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One away, runners at first and third. And stepping in is the speedy Grant McCray. One for one with a double and a run score. Fastball for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Deal one. That's through there for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pick. Two on, one out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He's already homered in this game. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two on, two outs. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. And look out. That one gets him. 
the second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a now corner, down. and I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure right now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. It's Jerry. Oh, Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Two outs. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. And that's the third out. Giants leave him loaded. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. here at Petco Park, ready to go, bottom four, stepping in for San Diego, Xander Bogarts, as the lefty gets to work, ground ball, left side, and that's just foul, you know these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, we're seeing very patient at bats out of them, they're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well, and that one is lifted in the air, no trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Full exercise. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Just off the inside edge. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That's towards center. McCray settles under it. Makes the grab. Two down. The left oh, field, number 24. Yeah, yeah. David Peralta at the play. Oh, one for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one ripped right center field. Could be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Higashioka struck out looking at his first at bat. There's a strike. And one in scoring position. Three. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. One left for San Diego. And this game is still tied at two and two. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivery. Hey. And there's a strike on the outside corner. With all these Giants looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They do have two hits with runners in scoring position, so they've delivered in those moments a couple of times, but for the most part, they're leaving a lot of food on their plate. Started to swing, held up. One ball, one strike. On the ground, right side. Gathers oh. and throws to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Third base, Matt Chapman. And here is Matt Chapman. 
The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. Fires the second Defense. too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. Matt Chapman with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One out, runner at second. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. And fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. Oh, and downstairs. Wow. Ball, one one out and a runner at second. And nope, there's a ball. The ball. Man at second. That one is absolutely belted. Out of here. He hammers one out to right. It's 4-2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. One down. And now the right fielder. First Ball pitch right doesn't find the zone. One down. Base is empty. On the ground to short. McCoy throws the first oh. in time. Now back, the catcher, Patrick, Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher, he's got it. And that is out number three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning. And now the shortstop, Mason McCoy. The shortstop. The line of the pitch. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Fouled off. He was late. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Oh, oh yeah. So the batting order turns over. And next is the designated hitter, Luis Arias. Yeah. Right down the chute. That's strike one. The pitch. Swing and a broken bat flare towards left. Throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Right fielder. Better than go. 
Jr. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. First pitch, not close. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning, number five. And this is inside. Ground ball right side. And he can't come up with it. And that keeps the inning alive. Fernando Tatis Jr. with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the first baseman, Donovan Solano. One for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. That one drifts inside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a That's great spot for a hitter to be in. Brio down. Hey, strike. Tatis gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Gets a piece and stays alive. Lead runner around second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. A couple of singles back to back. So much a good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Two gone with runners at the corners. And now it's Manny Machado. Through there for a strike. All ones account. Two on, two outs. Late on that fastball. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. The 0-2. That's inside. Rip to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Padres leave a pair. They trail it here, 4-2. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Martin Perez. Now on for his major run league run. debut and a moment he will never forget. You better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. And that one fouled off. Perez measures six feet even. He features a sinker 
a cutter, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a four-seamer. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now back. Yeah, the center field. Grant, Grant McCray will hit McCray. next. Just nope. missed. Bullpen action for the Padres. Adrian Morahone, the left-hander, up and throwing. Estrada also throwing. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And that's downstairs and outside. One strike. Inside, oh, just missed. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the oh. pitcher, covering the bag. There to be him by an eyelash. So now the DH spot, Mike Yastrzemski. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. The other way. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Now that the football. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyler Fitzgerald, one for three. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. 0 oh and 1. and a miss as he was out front that time. To the right side. The throw to first. And that'll do it. So one hit is all they get. We go to the bottom half of inning number six and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Giants four and the Padres two. Well, we go bottom six. So digging in now for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. Harrison back to work. That's Off the mark ball. there. One and oh. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tyler Rogers getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers, the lefty, warming up as well. And now the lefty. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Just kept it separate. Blake Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill. Step off throw to first. Bogarts back in standing. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. This one lifted in the air, left field. Ramos makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Now got left field. So digging in, David Peralta. He's been a great free agent side. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Oh, 
close nope. one doesn't get the call and that is ball one and okay. another ball wouldn't chase oh. that time well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Kyle Higashioka on deck for the Padres. Here's a 3-0. And there's the automatic. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Fouls one away and now three and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Here comes a 3-2. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Three balls, two strikes the count. Here's a high fly ball out to center. McCray on the move. He's got it. Now back, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And now the catcher comes up to him, Kyle Higashioka, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Bogart's on the go. Strike in there. Bro, save! save. Good arm behind the dish. It's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. And it's even up. Way high. Hey. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. <laughs> With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Tapper back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. And that is that. Padres leave one. Still down by a count of four to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jeremiah Estrada. And this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. The left now the left fielder, Elliot, Elliot Ramos. Ramos. And a pitch. Ball, Ball one, no strikes. And That's a good eye there. And you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Elliot Ramos with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now it's Matt Chapman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that 
that one missing low. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a high fly ball to left. In position. Makes the grab. So up next, Lamont Wade Jr. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Power relievers, one after another, coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So first and second with one gone. Now it's the right fielder. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Now one out to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Brings it in. Two down. No, no, no. The catcher. Patrick Bailey. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. That two one not close. Two it's two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Righty delivers. Careful. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Marco Luciano on deck for San Francisco. At the belt and fires. And they're all loaded up. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Two outs, bases full. Marco Luciano, the next giant to hit. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Headed for the plate. He's safe, and they clear the bases. It's seven to two. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now the ball, Tanner Scott on for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium, but... The game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. At the play, Grant ah. McCray. That's in there. Going one. Already three runs across in the frame. Here the top half of inning number seven. Good oh. eye right there.
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed. Two, Man on second, two down. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But three runs come across in the inning, all on this three-run double. It's 7-2. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 76. And you know, Brooklyn guys can struggle sometimes when they're going to the big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Stepping in for San Diego, Mason McCoy. And here it comes. And that's outside. And it's 1-0. That's him for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right handed reliever. Fights it off. You'll see another. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Slider misses outside. And another ball. Three two now. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. Out of here. He'll circle the bases. It's seven three. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient and waited for it it was like BP all over again Luis arrives now at the plate That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And, Kicks and fires. That's Just missed. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Left-hand batter waits. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Tosses to first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. That explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Yeah. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. 
and one That one oh, missed. One. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the bottom of the seven. Right side, hard hit. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next, Up next is the box. Box. The first base baseman, Jonathan. So Two long. outs, base is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, Donovan Solano. Ball first one. pitch just misses. in there across the letters swing and a miss clearly was sitting on One a ball. fastball right Two there and just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes and that's a little high and that's awfully close I don't know how you take that he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now Three. swing and a miss struck him out that's the inning Padres draw closer on the long ball it's now 7-3 it's Major League Baseball on the show Back here in San Diego, we're at the top of the eighth, the digging in, hitter. Mike Yastrzemski. Here comes a pitch. That Eight. one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Inside Just missed. Soon it's strike two. One ball. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Base it misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. It's Gerald in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. And the pitch just two. missed. Two balls, one strike. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed okay. like that. Next offering is downstairs. One down, base is empty. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now back, left field. And here is Elliot Ramos. Now snap throw to first. Fitzgerald back easily. Inside just missed. That one finds the zone and the count one and one. 
And another ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Matt Chapman. That misses the zone. Ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Chapman gets a piece there. And a 1-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for San Francisco, but they lead it by four. It's 7-3. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Rogers. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Rogers. He's someone that fills up the strike zone, so he doesn't give up a lot of walks, but because he's in the zone so much, a decent amount of hits occur. And now it's even up. And he's got to get ahead early in the count and then be able to mix up his speeds, add and subtract some velocity, but command is the big key, throwing the ball where he wants to. One, two now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bounce to the right. Luciano tosses to first. Machado is out. Now that second baseman, Xander Bogart. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Just off the outside edge, ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Hayden Birdsong getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers, a left-hander, also throwing. Face hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Number three. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That one the other way. One at second. Oh. Over to first, oh, but he beats it. Next for the Padres, David Peralta. In there at the knees. And that's strike one. Whoa, and ball right one. There. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. And that one moves his feet. Misses. Three and two now. Out 
outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed now, and now, walked the hitter. hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Higashioka. First and second, two down. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. And that one clips the corner. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. Leap in, and it's gone. It just got out of here. It's 7-6. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Tristan Beck. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So now a pinch hitter, Jerickson Profar. And he would be the tie and run booth, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. A base hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. Jerickson Profar with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So the lineup flips over. Now the DH for the Padres, Luis Arias. Line drive, base hit. Throw in hopes the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Tyler Wade. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. There's your strike, 95 of that one. Holding on to a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Kick swing, now we'll look down to first. No swing, just held it back there. So the tying run at second. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Staying in the game on defense, Jerickson Profar taking over as the new shortstop now following his pinch hit appearance. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Adrian Morahone. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Well, one run game. And here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. He's already homered here in this one. The wide to kick the pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. Mora home. In his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a slurve, 
A splitter, and he works in a sinker. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. And that one is in the dirt. The count now two and two. And misses inside. Shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him walk. That was just nasty. And now the right fielder, 0 for 4, a couple of flyouts. He's also grounded out and struck out. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Oh, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this event? One down, base is empty. Inside, almost got him. Pitch misses. Two and two. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Bailey in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Just off the inside edge. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Just missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Battling here as he fouls it away. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Stays alive. Wait Slider here. misses outside. Hey. So Pete Bear at 98 miles an hour. No runs, no hits, no errors. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Giants 7 and the Padres 6. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, number 74. A now chance at his first Ryan. save of the year. Number 74, Ryan Walker. And now it's going to be Donovan Solano. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. One run game, bottom nine. Got him looking for the K. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Oh. 
Machado in the box now. Take strike one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Three. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come no in no and no just two. destroy Second all. Three. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. chance for the Padres Xander Bogarts the next up for the Padres there's hey. a strike hey seven straight strikes to start the frame he's got a chance at an immaculate inning they're down to their final strike there's number eight, one away. This could end it. Ball one to Bogarts. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. The one, two. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. Harrison with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.